China's high-speed railway will soon welcome a new member to the family. It's not just any train track, but the first for China in terms of cross-sea high-speed transport and a key part of the Belt and Road project inspired by the ancient Silk Road. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere. The Meizhou Bay Bridge in Putian and Chenzhou covers a length of 14.7 kilometers. The tower on the bridge is 30 meters tall, with 28 stay cables, which are strands of wire or carbon that support an entire structure without the traditional need for columns and other supports. Building this bridge is of course complex and requires great precision. In 2021, the Kunlun sprang into action. It's the world's first kiloton bridge girder erection machine. I had to Google it just to make sure I had the correct name, but true enough, it exists and it laid down a 10-kilometer bridge in 218 days. A bridge erector is a machine that places prefabricated girders between the piers. But what's special about the Kunlun is that it was made in China, and also for its scale and capacity. It's a giant at 116 meters long and can lift a 1,000 ton, 40 meter long box girder, equivalent to the weight of 200 adult Asian elephants. That's the largest land mammal on the planet. It can withstand hundreds of tons of tension, but also turn freely even under the weight of a thousand tons of pressure. The unique design enables the machine to lay the bridge methodically, just like in this video. When the bridge erector is in operation, it's like a living Hercules lifting the 1,000 ton box beam and walking forward 42 and a half meters to reach the drop position. It only takes two hours to erect a box girder and the error is just five millimeters. The Quinlan uses high-strength alloy steel plates as the main material for its fuselage, which is 70% stronger than traditional steel plates. This material is normally used only in large ships and aerospace equipment, but is unprecedented for use in high-speed rail construction equipment. Another feature of the Quinlan is its all-round capability. It can be laid to 24-meter, 32-meter, and 40-meter high-speed rail box girder. The longer length of the box girder reduces the need for piers. The 40-meter box girder uses six fewer piers per kilometer compared to the 32-meter conventional box girder, resulting in significant cost savings and enabling the Meizhou Bay Bridge to be completed one month earlier and providing a smoother ride for the high-speed rail. Quite frankly, it needs to be seen in order to be fully appreciated. And it's hard to humanize what essentially is a huge machine, even though it's a feat of innovation and technology. So as I follow this story, I'll be looking at how the Kunlun is impacting lives and communities. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, bringing you on a journey of emotions. <laughs>